24 March 2017, 10.47 a.m. Once again, you know, I can't see how this company, Wildcat, can be doing business in the seat and continuously, consistently have a problem with their payroll. It's, it's every two weeks that there's a problem with the payroll. Today, I get paid $70. I work two days. The main supervisor, obviously, he can't verify, even though he knows he's the one that called me to work. Called me to work for the 13th of March. Did a video. Sent the video to him on that day. And you're telling me you have to investigate? What is there to investigate when the senior supervisor standing right there and I told him there was a major water main break in Brooklyn and all the trains were rerouted and I'm still going to work? That makes absolutely no sense. This company has a problem with its accounting process. Obviously, somebody doesn't know how to do math. Or it's this field supervisor who obviously isn't uh, uh, totaling up, tallying up the hours and days. After you, ma'am. I'm sorry. Obviously, it's either the field supervisor, the senior supervisor obviously isn't keeping his records. It's just, this company is being run haphazardly. And I can't see how this company can operate with the city and with FedCap and with all these other organizations that consistently have a problem with the payroll, consistently have a problem with accounting, who's working, who's not working, and then turn around and put people on a backup list, reserve, as a means of retaliatory action because somebody's family member died and people had to take days off. This is the type of shit that goes on with this company. I was told I needed to come back Monday because obviously somebody obviously can't tally up hours correctly. So when you got field supervisors that are more priority about having a chick in the front seat, which obviously is a fraternization between management and labor, nobody says anything. And these people don't know how to tally up the hours, don't know how to tally up the, the accounting process of who's working and who's not working, then obviously it's the worker who has to pay for that bullshit. This is why there needs to be an investigation through FedCap and through the city as far as what's going on with this company. Because if this is the way this company is being run, then it's obviously it's either corruption, management level corruption, or, or, or just incompetence.